causality, an aha moment. Since modeling is really all about trial and learning, I actually have a lot of aha moments. And when I build a model, I want, if the model is well crafted, I believe it should tell a story. Though the appropriate order in which to tell the story is usually not apparent until after I build the model. I, I may have some inkling at the beginning of what the story is that I want to tell, though more often than not, by the time I get the model done, um, I have a very different sense of the story or the way that I should unfold the model to tell the story. Now, what's nice about about Kumu, I mean about Kumu, no, that's where I was last week, uh, causality is that it allows you to reorder the loops now you notice these loops are reordered very nicely and they're, and they're actually labeled in sequence so that the way that it opens the various loops is the way that I determined that it's most appropriate or best to tell the story to communicate it to the audience. The difficulty is though that more than once I have actually reordered the sequence and when I reorder the sequence I have to change all my labels. And the aha moment I had today is, what do I need the labels for? Causality sequences, the, puts numbers on these, and tells me whether or not they're reinforcing or balancing loops. So all I need to do is put them in the right order. And if I change the order, well, it changes the numbering. So I just will communicate it by walking through the sequence and describing the loops to someone else or into a video and the, the numbers that I put out are irrelevant because after I present this to somebody they might say well you know this would really come across better if you talked about this loop before you talked about that loop and if they do and if that is appropriate then all I have to do is change the order and I don't have to renumber the loops so the aha moment was what do I need the numbers for if I find out that I want to put this model in a paper or something, then it probably needs to have loop sequence numbers and labels in it, in which case I will do a screenshot of this, put it in something like PowerPoint or, or the presentation uh, software in Google, um, uh, Google Drive, and then I will add sequence numbers. In other words, I will call this 01R and, and put a label on it. And then I'll call, I'll call this 02R and put a label on it. And call this uh, 03B and put a label on it. So that in the paper, it's got numbers on it. Now, once... Um, the causality people finally get this to the point where I could give you a URL and you could go look at this, then it would be appropriate, well it's appropriate anyway, that I go ahead and actually put comments. In other words, if I look at this loop, I should go ahead and actually add notes to everyone. Why is this? What is this about? What? I should add meaningful notes to every element on the map along with a measure as to how I would go about measuring this so that if someone came here to understand this model the best way for them to do that is to walk through this in term, in the sequence that it's presented and then read the notes that are attached to each one of the items, but I need to go back. I since I just built this a few minutes ago, and I migrated this from somewhere else. I need to go back and put actually put the notes on the individual variables to explain what I mean by the the variable. Because oftentimes, more often than not, the labels are actually not quite enough. So um, the aha moment was, what do I need the numbers for? Causality does that for me. So. Hope you find this of some use or interest, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.